as we went to break we told you about the staff reassignments with Brian Snitker taking over as the Braves interim manager Terry Pendleton has been named the Braves bench coach Eddie Perez will move to first base coach Marty Reed is now the Atlanta bullpen coach and as we've mentioned as well let's not forget Carlos Tosca he too is dismissed along with Freddie Gonzalez yeah so a, a real shuffling of the deck uh, I told Terry today I said, well at least you don't have to wear that helmet anymore and I asked Eddie Perez I said whatever you do don't forget your helmet he goes oh, I've already got one my head <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I, this is such a personally a, a, a day of mixed emotions I, I said that a moment ago I, I, I'm numb quite frankly I don't think any of us expected this team to play this poorly and it's a shame that as you said it's tough to fire 25 players and that a good man had to lose his job despite everyone saying it really wasn't his fault it's just one of the horrible things about the business of baseball and the business of professional sports sometimes that situations like this arise well when it was also mentioned that uh, going forward into 2017 that Freddie Gonzalez was not going to be the manager of the Atlanta Braves uh, that was mentioned in the interview in the dugout today as well that's the bottom line doesn't none of this the rest of this matters if he was not going to be the manager going forward then certainly uh, I can't imagine that he wanted to be a lame duck guy finishing out the season and, and from the team standpoint if they're going to make a change at the end of the year or if by chance one of the guys in the dugout right now becomes the manager then uh, probably best just to get on with it and if that's the case I'm sure Freddie said yeah let's uh, Freddie Gonzalez let's go ahead and do this if that's what you're going to do.